Okay, so in today's video, we'll be covering marks in Vim. So um, let's just get started. So the way you can, well, how you set a mark is with M. So if I say M A, I created a, a mark um, with the label A. So say, so that was on line 50 where I created the mark. If I just, you know, go somewhere else in the document, and if I want to go back to mark A, I do back tick A, so back tick A. And that takes me to um, wherever I set the mark. And obviously this works from anywhere within the document. So if I'm on line one and I do back tick A, it goes to mark A. Uh, you can do this with all lowercase letters, uppercase letters, and also um, uh, the number characters. So any alphanumeric character you want. So if I mark one on line 41 and I go to the end of the document, if I just back tick one, it takes me all the way to line 41. So that's how you, you set a mark. So uh, for as much as I said you can mark it with any alphanumeric character, typically you only want to use the lowercase uh, the lowercase uh, letters. The uppercase letters can take you to marks within other files. Okay, so if I open another file, if I can, okay, so they're all in this directory. If I open uh, this file, the Araragi, file. Uh, I'm a bit of a, a weave as you can tell. If I mark as as capital A uh, and I go back to uh, the, the file I was I was editing before, if I backtick shift A, it takes me all the way to the other file. Whereas if I backtick normal A, it won't take me to the to the the previous file, the Python file I was in where I put the the um the mark the lowercase a mark so keep that in in mind the uppercase letters can be across files um, and then the lowercase letters are local within the files okay so if I back tick a in this file it's it takes me to the the little a in this file and then we also have uh well back tick back tick which takes me back to the the last jump I did. So um, if I was at the end of the document here, uh, line 240, and I back tick A, and I back tick back tick, it takes me, takes me back to where I was before I did the jump to the mark. If I do it again, it takes me to the mark. So that's how you can move quickly in between jumps. Next, we have some uh, special marks. Um, so I'm going to run this command quickly, uh, delete marks just for the sake of um, delete marks. Which ones do I want it to delete? No, actually, no, not yet, not yet. I'll do that a bit later. So say I'm on line 19 in this file and I close this file. Well, I'm on line 20, right? I close this file and I open the file again, okay? It takes me to the top of the file. But if I do back tick, double quotes, it takes me to where I was when I last edited the file. So line 20 in this case. So that's how you can, well, uh, find your place, the last, you know what I mean, the, the last place where you were in the file before you, you closed it. Next is uh, some special. So I'm going to delete marks zero to nine, yeah, zero to nine. So in the same way that the uppercase letters had special meaning as in they could be across different files, the numbers as well also have a sp special <coughs> meaning. They maintain the the position where Vim uh, previously exited. So if I close this file, right, and I just open Vim, okay, empty buffer. If I do back tick zero, it will go to the place where I last exited in Vim, even on the, the the line number, the specific line number. So that can come in very useful um, if you don't want to use a plugin to do that sort of thing. So it so from zero to, to nine, zero is the, the last one that you edited, one is the one before that, two is the one before that. So I think if I do back tick one. Okay, it won't remember. So if I close this one, 
um, a neural network should be uh, zero. If I close this one, uh, uh, that one should be zero now, and then the neural network should be one. And if I open another one, okay, so they are a ruggy one. So this one should be zero now. So if I open Vim and I do backtick zero, that's the, the last one I edited. If I do backtick one, the one before that, and backtick two, uh, the one before that as well, and on the specific line number. So now that's what the numeric ones, uh, uh, yeah, the numeric ones are special. You can just overwrite them if you want. So if I uh, mark one, mark zero, mark two, now I've just overwritten the marks for the other guys. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Next we have uh, some other special marks. So let's say I copied some text here. And I open that. If I paste this text, right, and I move around the file, um, the text you pasted was seven lines above here. Um, if I do back tick open bracket, it takes me to the start of the last put text. Okay. If I do uh, back tick close bracket, it takes me to the end of the last put text. So there's that. Um, there's also a so if I enter visual mode and do some, you know, selecting in visual mode and then exit. Um, so now I'm back in normal mode. If I do uh, back tick uh, less than sign, it takes me to the start of the well, of the previous uh, visual selection area. And if I do back tick greater than sign, it takes me to the end of the last uh, uh, back tick of the last visual selection area. Not back tick. Okay, and then also say I, I, I inserted, that's how you spell, I inserted uh, some text, yeah, you know, and then um, I did another edit or something, and I went all the way down to here in the file. If I do back to dot, it takes me to the, the last edit in the file. And then, yeah, that's all of them. So I've been using back tick this whole time. But you can also use a single quote to instead of back tick if you want. So um, single quote A goes there, and it's the the exact same thing as as all the other ones. Um, so you can choose whether you want to use back tick or single quote. The only difference being is um so if I do uh, back tick A, it takes me to the the, the first column, right? If I do uh, Single code A takes me to the first non-blank character. So that's the only difference. Um, yeah, so that's actually it for all the emotions in in, uh, in Vim for the marks. Uh, now there's a few commands that would be useful. Um, so let's go through the first one. So jumps, okay. Um, well, before I, I show you the jump list, a jump is considered any... I guess large movement you make in film. So if I do something like gg go to the file, uh, at beginning of the file, or like all the way to the end of the file, or like a large movement that isn't you know just a jok, those are considered jumps. So to move in between jumps, to go back to I was before I jumped all the way here, I can control O, and now you see I'm at the end of the the file. If I go control O again, I'm where I was before that. Uh, control O. I'm where I was before that, and you can just keep going until at some point there was the, you know, I think it will, and it goes across files as well, so you can keep going as, so now I'm back into the, the previous file from where I entered and so on and so forth. Control I goes forward in the jump list. So this is how you move in between uh, jumps, and you can see your jumps uh, well, the jump list uh, with the command uh, jumps. So this will give you a, a little a little window, yeah. Which um, if I can, yeah, you can see uh, we are yeah where this uh, little thing is pointing. This is the latest uh, jump. So if I control O, it will just keep going all the way back up until we get to you know the other files and up until the first point in time when when I opened the the file. 
um, the first file I opened in this session. So these are, are jumps, and you can jump in. Be you can jump back and forth with, with Control I and Control O, and obviously jumping to marks uh, counts as a jump. I can also run the the command clear jumps to just clear that list, and now there's you know. Um, no more jumps. If I control I or O, nothing happens. Um, we also have a command called marks, which um, shows all the marks. Now, there's a lot here. Um, as you remember, these are the, spe the special ones, the visual selection ones, last repeat. Uh, what do these do again? <laughs> the, the put text. And then uh, the special one for the, the last position where you're editing um, in a file. The numbered ones for obviously uh, sort of the same thing uh, previously exited. And then um, the, the, the custom one we sent, uh, we set with uh, uppercase A in the other file and then the little a in this file. And then um, little quote, does this one have a special meaning? Huh. Well, actually, you know what I mean. I think that's yeah, this is that also counts as a return, uh, like double backtick. Okay, so that's how you can see your your marks in here. So if I <clears throat> if I mark B over here, um, and I view marks, you will see B appears on the list now as well. And and you can also with the marks command uh, do marks and then specify specific marks. If I do B, it'll show only B. And then with marks, you can also delete marks with uh, Dell marks. And then uh, you, you can't just do it like this. You need to specify an argument, Dell marks. Um, and then if you want to delete everything from 0 to 9, you do it like that. If you want to delete everything from 0 to 9, A to Z, and A to big Z, um, you can do it all in one command like that. And now we have no marks. Uh, the special, I think you can also delete the special ones, uh, Dell marks. Uh, and that seemed to go off without a hitch and yeah so you can delete all the marks um, if you want and yeah that's that's it for this video i will see you in the next video bye bye